<laughs> Our main event to continue and possibly finish this weekend. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. So let's go ahead and get right back in. Shall we? Of course. It's all right, Red Burning Dragon. Don't worry. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you next time I stream. I can perfectly understand you not wanting to see spoilers. So, okay. Let me see here. There we go. Right. I can do this with a controller. Wait. What? Pressure regulation. Steam vent access only at low pressure. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Mendes? You know the answer well enough. What? Okay, game, you kind of threw me into this. What? Plant fully operational. Oh, God. Betrayed. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now that I believe Red Dragon has left, so let's continue on. What the hell? Here we go. No, wait. There. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, but they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending our, their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud and then feed them to the pigs. Yeah, oh my god. Oh god. What? What the hell have you been doing, man? Whoa! Okay, we're wrecking this place. Automatic pressure regulator shut off. Okay. Wait. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Okay, Trip. You better head off now, then. Have a good one, man. You really better go before you, this anything gets spoiled here. Oh man, okay.
Whoa! Okay. Oh god, more pig masks. Um... What? How do I... Um... Where do I access it from? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, where the hell do I go? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, I'm possibly an idiot because I'm missing it, but I don't know. Can I just go in through? Oh! Oh! Okay. Well, all right then. Okay, down we go. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. What? Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! What? Bring the light up, you son of a... Oh god, I don't have access to my light. Teddy bear. Oh man. Okay, I'm freaking out. I can barely see anything. What the hell is that? Oh god. Let me bring up my light, please. Kinda really need that right now, because this is extremely dark. What the hell is happening? No, that's, um... Whoa! What the hell? Where? Where am I? There is a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding. Ever so painful for mummy, dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mule, or fat little mole. Where, were you, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? December 1st, 1899. What the hell is going on? What? Where? What? Oh my god, okay. Okay, I can't get out there. Holy jeez. Do I have to follow the pig? How did I even get here? Wait, 
No, uh, this way. Maybe. Oh, what? Whoa! Man, this is the saboteur. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility, something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Okay. Whoa. Ensure conduits are correctly placed to avoid pressure backdrafts. Child fatalities this month, 17. Here's another one. Yeah! Let's wreck this place. Let us wreck this nightmare factory. Warning, steam vent access only at low pressure. Escape through the pipes. If in the throes of my evil I sent children into the pipes to clean them, then it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious maelstrom of vengeance. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils from the fumes of that godless compound X that fuels these machines, and I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. Some form of steam regulator. Regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough, of to for certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mandis, you clever old goat! I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayed boil into fury. This betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? Oh wait, do I have to get the pipes and bring them here? I think I do, perhaps. Oh boy. Okay. Moving my butt. Come on. Move it, move it, move it, man, just move it. Is this, does this not go in here? This doesn't go in here. Okay, I'm an idiot then. What am I supposed to do here?
into the pipes and out of the engines. Now quickly, through the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling corrosive steam, I sense the machine snarl itself about me. Its unholy, inhuman mind coil, coil and slick and send its dark tendrils through its conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets, I will fetch help, and I shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground, and seal this evil place underground forever. Okay. We're gonna move on. Whoa! Oh shit, wrong way. All about me, the thunder of machinery, the blasts of boiling steam. I cannot pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster, cracked. My circulation stagnated, my vital motions impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Uh, is that the way I'm supposed to go? Uh, yep. Get back. Oh shit. Okay, I need to go down. Whoa! Okay. Where the hell am I now? Get out, man! Whoa! This is what you dreamt it to be. I will stop you. I will save them. You are too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my piggies! Kill them all! Low pressure. Pig line access open? What? What the hell is it talking about? What is going on? Okay, things have gone insane. Okay, we're gonna pause here before I lose my mind and take a quick little break. Holy shit. We'll continue this in a second. Don't go anywhere. And for those of you on YouTube, see the next part soon.